Yo, you with Jerry Rogers, owner of JH and Lions Trucking out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You are now watching Truck and Hustle. <laughs> Hustle fam, hustle fam, we are back with another amazing episode and all my dump truck enthusiasts, this one is for you. I'm here with the man himself, Jerry from JH Alliance. He's the GOAT out here in the Milwaukee area with the dump trucks and he's here today with Truck and Hustle, man. Jerry, happy to have you here, man. Welcome to the show. My pleasure, my pleasure, man. Happy you guys came this way and took a look at what we got going on out here. No doubt, no doubt. I've been, you know, trying to enjoy, take Milwaukee in a little bit. Um, hoping, hoping, to, hoping to get some, some, some dinner and some food in a little bit, but you yeah. know what I'm saying? You gotta check out the, uh, what spot you said? Car Carson's Rib. Carson's Rib, Carson's Rib. So I don't eat ribs, but we going to Carson's Ribs to get some seafood after this, you yeah. know what I'm saying? But all right, let's, let, let, let's get into the business, man. So you're in the dump truck game. You've been in, in for what, nine, 10 years now? 10 years, yeah. 10 years in the dump truck game. Um, six, seven trucks, how much you got? Uh, we got six at the Six moment. trucks, so you got like three on the way too? Yeah, we just ordered, I ordered one for my wife because she said she want her own thing. So that's, so. that's a flex right there when you buy your wife a dump truck. You know, most, most of us are buying our wives purse, purses and <laughs> shoes, but Jerry got his wife a dump truck. Y'all take notes, folks. So, so, so you're gonna have uh, nine. Yeah. Nine trucks. All right, cool. Is your wife starting her own company? Is going to be no, under? No, she's under JH, but I want her to, so she don't have to dig in my. <laughs> <laughs> so she don't got to dig in your pocket. She yeah. have her own joint. Yeah. I, I respect that, bro. That You a smart man. Yeah. So that's a long-term investment, yeah. right? So I, as a, you just put put it on the truck, and that's going to take care of the I next couple years. I might need to borrow something e that Exactly, time. exactly. That's a fact. <laughs> All right, cool, man. So let, let's talk about it, man. I want to learn about the dump truck game in in this area, um, learn about how you built your business, your growth over the years. Like you, you're, you're a seasoned vet, you've been doing this for you know ten years now, so you know this game in and out. So let's get into the story, man. Let's start with with you, man. Milwaukee, born born and raised. Born and raised in Milwaukee. You know, uh, my family. We um, grew up. We had a lot of bars in Milwaukee, so we know my family from the bar game. Okay. So, you know, I took a different approach. You Got know. you, but entrepreneurship was kind of in your blood. Yes. Okay, tell me about being a kid, man, growing up. What type of kid were you? Were you a good kid? You getting in any trouble? I was a good kid. I was the type of kid, like, want to go to bike trails and catch frogs and, you know. <laughs> you were my, you take, adventurous. Yeah, take my pit bull down to the river like I'm hunting, you know, <laughs> stuff like that. Okay, okay. You never got in any trouble? Um, as a kid, like in school, yeah, and stuff, yeah. I got into an like, accident that teacher said I broke his arm or something. Like when he was breaking up the fight. So you were fighting, and yeah. the teacher said you broke his arm. Yeah, he broke his arm, but his okay. arm was already broke. Like when we came <laughs> to the school. Yeah. But I got in trouble for it. They took me to the children's detention center. Okay. For, Did you get into a lot of fights as a kid? Nah. But that was just kind of one that happened. A, a one. Somebody stepped out of line. You had to you had to check yeah, them real quick. Took my necklace. Oh, it took your necklace. Okay, well, <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah. All right, all right, solid. So, pretty good kid for the most part. How was your grades? Decent grades, all that. Yeah, it was. <laughs> you know, one the best, but they was passing yeah, yeah, grades. Yeah. Right, you know? right. I was distracted a lot as a kid. Got so. what was distracting you, man? environment like you know got big you. cousins them they ain't going to school and stuff so i do stuff like just irritating the class because i really don't want to be there you right know? kind of being like the class clown yeah got you got you all right cool so after high school what do you do at the high school i got into some trouble okay you know, being in the streets you know yeah at the wrong place at the wrong time okay i had at the high school i was in high school matter of fact what happened so um, I was riding with my um, my big sister, her ch kid's father, brother. <laughs> her kid's father's brother, okay. Yeah, so he was about to drop me off at home, so he was going to make a play. 
Why you dropped me off? M- make a play. What's that mean? Like, pass some drugs. Okay, okay, got I knew, I knew what it meant. I was messing with you. Okay. <laughs> Let's make a play. Make so, a play. Yeah, some drugs. So, yeah. I was in the car when it transpired. So, they gave me a um, party to a crime. Mm, okay. So, I did two years for that. Got prison. you. Got you. And I was a teenage. They weighed me as a duck. Got, and, and at that time, you'd never been in trouble before I with the law? I've never been in trouble before ever. Got you. So you just happened to be wrong place, right time, end up doing two years in prison. Yeah. How was that? I know it couldn't have been good. It wasn't good. Yeah. I was just in prison, a young teenager, you know? Were you scared? Well, yeah, when I first got there, but I just, it was normal. After I sat for about nine months, I'm like, you right. know, I got Just adapted, adapted to I still to wanted it. to get out, though. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, I, I bet you did. I bet you did. Yeah. All right, so after, during that two years, how old are you? You said you're like 17, eight, 17? Yeah, I was 17. So you get out when you're like 19? I got out when I was 19. All right, what'd you do in prison to pass your time? Um, I was going to school because I ain't finished high school at the time, so right. they had put me in school to try to get my uh, high school diploma. Okay. So I was doing school most of the time. Then once I graduated in prison, I went to studio maintenance in prison. So it's studio like a, maintenance? Okay. It's like a college course or something in prison. They teach you how to buff floors and okay. stuff like that. All right. Like strip floors. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. yeah. You know, Got you. Get like a little trade. Yeah, it's called studio, studio maintenance. Studio maintenance. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, so you, you do that. And then um, what, what, what next? So after that, I get out. You get out. Thank God. Thank God I got out. What's the first thing you do when you get out? I was just trying to, you know. Trying to stay from going way. back in? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I start going to like, um, what's the job? Job what? Corps? No, not Job Corps. Where they help you get a job at, like temp service. Okay. All right. Got I you. I start going to temp service. Right, so right, right. I was just stacking my money going to temp service. Doing like Not, odd jobs, like different jobs, yeah, whatever they like offer. Wherever you. they offer me, I'm right. going there, so I'm stacking my money. Like, so my grandma gave me an old blazer. Like, here you can drive this to go to work and back and forth. Yeah. So I'm going to work. So sometimes I drive all the way, 45 minutes to go to work, and they'd be like, "I don't need you," you know. So it's <laughs> right discouraging me. Exactly. Like, Man, like exactly. So I keep driving. So I'm going one day. I ain't go to work that day. So I was hopped in the car with my friend. I was like, man, take me to get a haircut. Somebody T-boned us. Mm. Hit us bad, you know? Okay. So I was like, I wasn't hurt of nothing. But, you know, my fiance, she work in the legal field. So I called her like, man, I'm hit. And they got insurance. <laughs> so she, you know, because she always telling me. Right, like, right. She's like, if you ever get hit by a car, make sure you call me. Make sure you we call about to get paid. Office. Make sure you call. <laughs> you know, I'm broke, man. Yeah. I'm fresh out. Right. I'm trying to make it. So right. I called her like, man, I'm hit. They Finally. got insurance. They in the wrong. So, you know. <laughs> Yeah, I just know I got some money right. coming up. That is hilarious. Yo, I'm hit. Finally, I got hit. Yeah. All right. So, so you call her and, and go ahead. Keep and going she telling the story. Me, like, call the office, set up an appointment with the uh, investigator people so they can come out, take your story, and get you set up for therapy. Okay. So I'm just going to therapy. I'm asking her, like, Kayla, how much money they going to give me? <laughs> How much they gonna give me? She like, just keep going to therapy. You gonna, you right. gonna be all right. Right, right, right. I'm just asking, how much they gonna give me? You know, I'm, I'm excited. I'm ready to get money. Cause I knew already I wanted a box truck, you know? So okay. I'm like. So that's about see, to be the seed money for your box truck. Yeah, I see my cousin in, he, he riding the box truck. He tell me, I'm getting this much money on the road. Yeah. I'm like, wow, box truck? Yeah. So I'm calling him every day. How much money you say you getting? Right, right, right. Well, you, you know, asking the questions. Right, you right, right. Yep. Yeah. So I got my lump sum from getting hit. Okay. How much I you went, get? I got like 17000 18000 Okay, okay. Which is not a whole bunch of money. No, it But it's something. It's a start. It's, a, it's, a, it's something. Yeah. So I went to this place on the south side. He was like, you know, we can... um. We can get you this truck, but you got an in-house finance. I'm like, nah. So one of my guys called me. They're like, you know, you can uh, rent a truck at uh, Enterprise. Okay. 
and start your company off like that, you just gotta have your uh, US DOT number and your insurance and everything. Right. So I started off with the uh, with Enterprise box truck. box truck. Okay. You went, went on you the, rented a box truck. I rented the box truck. Okay. And what you went do? Went on it? the road. I'm driving for like a, a week straight, right? So I'm about to come back home. I go, um, I'm in Indiana. I drop my load off. I'm, I'm talking to my fiance on the phone, like, yeah, I'm about to come home. Woo, I'm on the phone, right? Yeah, yeah. So I go in there at Low Bridge. I tear the whole top off. Oh, <laughs> man. I uh, tear the This is your first load with the box truck? No, it wasn't my first load. Oh, it was oh, my no. first you, week out. Your though. first week out. Yeah. And you excited to get home and you, and you roof the joint. Roof the tear whole. Tear somebody rent the rental truck. Yeah, the rental truck. Tear oh. the whole box off. Man, what happened? What happened with that? I drove the truck home with the box toe off. I mean, now, now. everybody looking at, I'm on the highway, everybody like. <laughs> <laughs> I know I did. Every oh, time I roll past somebody, they like. Now, like, now what, what happened with the, uh, you said Enterprise? You, yeah. you, you got it from? I didn't know you could rent a box truck from Enterprise. Yeah, for So, them, so, man. So what, what happened with them? Like, did you have to pay them or anything like no, that? No, my insurance took care of it. It was under your, your car insurance, yeah, your personal I, car I insurance. Yeah, I had to put it under my DOT. And everything like you do when you buy in the semi. Yeah. You got to put your DOT number and stuff on that truck. Okay. Because they ain't going to insure. You got to make sure your insurance under and everything. Got it. Got it. So I get home, man. I ain't take the truck to Enterprise another two weeks. I'm so I'm so messed up in the head about <laughs> right, right, it. Right, right, I'm right. still paying for it. I know I ain't making no money. Right, right, right. I like, <laughs> I'm just looking at it like outside my window every day at home. Like, man, no, I told it. You see the whole front smash there. Man. Kayla was like, go ahead and take it. You got it sure. So I'm like, I know, man. Right. I just say, you know, I ain't want to face the consequences. Right, man. right, right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. You had to take it to them and show them what happened. Yeah. And um, I guess he's like, all right, well, you, 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 it's yours now. You got to do something with it. Fix yeah. it. Don't bring it to us. Yeah. Right? So after that, I got discouraged for about two years. After that, I was like, man, you know what? I'm gonna just save some money. I went to Georgia, bought me a box truck. I caught it for like 14,000. Okay. So I was just riding that. I'm like, then I've I been riding for like two months, you know, on the highway. And I caught myself getting tired and jumping at the wheel like mm. I'm sleepless. So I'm like, I can't do this no more, man. Right, right, right. Where were you getting your loads from on the box truck? I was getting them off of, um, Selective board. Select, select, yeah, okay. Selective, yeah, select. uh, the load board. Yeah. Okay, got there. you. How was the pay? Was it was it decent? Back or? then, I think they was paying like two twenty a, a mile. A mile around mile. there. Average. You were averaging. Yeah. Got you. So like, do you remember like what you were doing like weekly or monthly when you were working with the box trucks? I was doing maybe like four thousand thirty five hundred. Okay. A yeah, week. A week. Okay. Okay. Got you. All right. So what happens next? So after that, I just took a break again. I sold all my <laughs> trucks. Okay. You know, I would just keep trying to find myself. You know, yeah, I yeah, sold yeah. all my box trucks to my cousin. How many, how many trucks did you get up to? I ended up having three trucks. Okay, so you started buying trucks. some more. Yeah. Now, so, so the first one was a rental, but the other two, you said you caught the one for 14, yeah. and then you caught two other then ones. Then I bought another one up in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Okay, okay. And what made me get discouraged on that? I bought that truck, I ran it for like a week or so, and it needed an overhaul. I'm mm. like, man, I can't win, can't win. man. Can't win for losing. <laughs> can't win for losing. Yeah, I was like, I was better off staying with Enterprise. I should have got three of them trucks. Exactly. But I ain't want to pay the thousand every week. You know, right. it's getting in your pocket. Right, so right, I'm right. I'm like, I'm trying to find every way possible to cut all the To minimize the, the, the yeah. cost. Nah, I got you. Okay, cool. So. You said that you got, you got up to three box trucks, then you then you get tired of it. You're yeah, like, so tired. what? What do you do with the box trucks before you take I that sold time off? All of my cousins. S sell them all. All of them gave them a blowout deal. Like man, <laughs> you buy them too. I'm gonna give you that one too. Give you this one for free. Yeah, no like, doubt. Man, just get them out of here. I just want the money. Right. Because my other cousin GP, his trucks over there in the corner, them white ones that's in the corner part yeah. of. He was telling me, like, man, I'm making this much money with the dump trucks. So, got you, got like, you. So he was, was putting like, you onto the dump trucks, all yeah, right? Yeah, and I was like, man, I don't know how to drive a stick shift, though. Mm. He was like, my truck automatic. I'm like, for real, they, <laughs> they got automatics. So I was excited when he told me he got that automatic. Okay. So, yeah, I was just like, man, I got to get some money, man. Okay. 
So, you know, I'm riding with him every day working. I got In my, the dump trucks. Yeah. So you took some time off and then you started working with your cousin. Yeah. And just like kind of like being like cool driver for him. Yeah. All right. I just was, I was just ready to get, I was ready to get in the dump truck. So, you know, I save all my money from the, um, the box trucks already. So I'm just ready to find the right truck for me, like an automatic. GTT Commercial Tires is a tire store that's designed with the owner-operator in mind. It serves as a helpful community where you are always their number one priority. Whether you're a new owner-operator or you've been driving for years, their mission is the same, to keep owner-operators in business. That's why they go above and beyond providing superior customer service when you actually need it, educating you on proper tire care and delivering a no BS sales experience. With two conveniently located stores in Richmond and Petersburg, Virginia, and almost 2,000 five-star Google reviews, they are truly raising the bar and setting a new standard in tire care. Make sure you call 1-800-991-6251 to schedule your appointment now and tell them Truck & Hustle sent you. Got you. How much money you got in the bank at this time? I maybe had like... 60 70 thousand okay so my cousin i was like man i'm gonna spend all this money on the dump truck i'm so <laughs> you know like you tell him you make what a thousand twelve hundred a day right so i'm just excited like you know i ain't really knowing like the back end like what else it's gonna cost me to run it but i'm like i'm gonna spend all this money on the dump truck because right. i know i hear what you said what he's making yeah yeah so he was like no i'm gonna i'm gonna hook you up with this finance guy where you can just put like half of that down and keep you some money for tires and maintenance and all that. Okay. So I went to his finance guy. He ain't approved me. Okay. I want to prove for I'm heated. You know, like, <laughs> I'm like, man, why I can't get approved? You right, know, I got right, a right. good credit. And, and what everything. type of truck you trying to get at this time? I'm trying to get a Caterpillar. It's called a Caterpillar dump truck. Yep. It's it's made on the caterpillar. Okay, and how much is, how much was it gonna the cost? The truck you? was like one hundred and five. One hundred and five. It was it brand new. No, it was, it was like used? a couple of years. Okay, so you you're getting looking for a used truck. Yeah, caterpillar. You said about one hundred and five. Yeah. Okay, but you but you get rejected. He got me rejected. So okay. I went to one of my old school guys. He on the Adidas store here. Okay. I went down there. I'm heated. I'm like, man, dog, I can't get this truck, man. I'm trying to. I'm trying to work, man. It's all I got. Yeah. He's like, yeah. He was like, you know what, man? I'm going to do this for you. And, you know, I want you to do right by me, you know? He's like, I want you to do right. And he's like, I'm going to go get that truck for you. Okay. What, is that? what does get the truck for you mean? I know right. he didn't buy the whole truck for you. He, he financed he, it for he you. He financed the truck. Well, he paid for it cash. He paid the 105 Yeah, he paid cash? the 105 cash for me. Adidas stores must be making some good money. <laughs> yeah. Like he paid the one hundred five cash for me. He like, I'm gonna get the truck for you. And you just pay me a, um, you pay me a note or payment every month for two years. Okay. So he gave me a reasonable note, right? That I could pay the whole truck off for two years. Oh, that's dope, man. So, that's yeah. a blessing right there. He blessed me. Salute, like, salute to him. Yeah. So he blessed me. So he did that for me. I'm ready. Bro. Right, right. I'm saying, like, where you sending him the money at? Where you, I'm ready to go get it. He's like, calm down. I'm finna get him the check. Yeah. I got to do a few things while we going to get I'm blowing him up. Hey, you did it. I'm right. ready to go. Right, 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 right. Yeah, so he did that for me. Okay. So, so you have so you have the truck, and you still got your 70000 in the bank, right? Because yeah. you, you don't keep your money. He got it for me. Right, and now you can just pay, pay him monthly pay or whatever. I him monthly. All right, so so tell me about it. You get your truck, and what do you start doing? I start calling my cousin GP again. Like, hey, man, I got the truck. Okay. Where do I start to get the work for him? Where I do this at? He's like, well, I'm going to send you this number. He sent me this lady. Uh, her name's Zora. She on Zayden Trucking here. Okay. So she was like, yeah, I'll put you to work. She's like, but one thing, I don't like, um, I don't like people that hire. I like owner-operators. Okay. So she's like, you can't have someone working for you. You got to drive the truck yourself. Really? That's yeah. what she said. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I was like, why you don't like, um, why you don't like employees driving the truck? Because she was like, owner operators, they come to work more, and drivers ain't liable. Reliable. They call in and. But I mean, how does she expect you to grow as a company? At some point, you got to have drivers, right? That's, yeah. Unless you that's, have one truck forever. That's where I'm getting to. Like, okay. So. 
I'm like, you know, I'm feeling myself, I'm getting money, I'm stacking, I'm getting more money on top of the 70, you know, it's coming in, I'm right. working every day. Right. So I'm buying, a, I'm buying a truck, I buy another truck, I pay cash money for a truck, I drove all the way to Minnesota, buy me a Mac for 60000 Okay. And she was, and like, she was like, well, what you do that for? <laughs> Like telling me like why I buy more truck I I understand it right. like, so this know? is truck two you're looking this at truck two. and she's like nah I just want you to work you and your one truck yeah and <laughs> okay. she she making me feel like I was doing something wrong or something she was like oh, I need she was like what what you doing that for I'm like what you mean no no I'm supposed to grow you yeah, know like right, right. I'm trying to have a big company she was just shooting me down like nah you don't need to do that. So, I mean, other, I'm sure there's other companies in there, right, that worked for, for, for her or worked with her? Yeah, but they was telling me, like, um, they was like, you get more than one truck with Zora, you ain't going to grow. Really? So she wants everybody to have one truck because she, she's like, I guess, like, from her perspective, she wants you to pretty much, like, almost, like, be dependent on, yeah. like, the operation. You kind of stay in there. You're working. You're going to show up because... You're not making no money unless you show up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you kind of like locked in, right? Yeah, so she's telling me that. So I'm like, man, I can't stay right here because I ain't growing. I got two trucks now. She only sending me a dispatch for one yeah. and stuff like that. And I'm trying to grow. I'm stressing to my fiance. Like, so, so so, real quick, what is she? She's a broker or what, what is she's she? She's a dump truck broker. She's a dump truck broker. Yeah. Got you. So she has a con. So who is she working with that she has all these loads? And why does she have so much power? Because she been in it 30 years. Okay. And a lot of people, they ain't helped on getting out there and getting it they self. Okay. They depending on, like, her to send them work all the time. So that's but the route that everybody's going. That's everybody's the route. calling her. She any, any new company, they call her. She gets to work, and nobody goes past that. Like, yeah. they start with her. Yeah. Got it. So, you know, I'm coming like, no, this it's got to be better, you know? Right. So, I went to, um, like, so the winter here now, she said, ain't no more work. I got these two trucks. I still got to pay my, my guy a note for the one truck. Yep. And I see trucks working every day, flying past me, everything. I'm just sitting here, you know, like, wow, man. What's like, going on? Yeah. And what you doing with truck number two? They sitting. It's just sitting. Both of them sitting now. Well, okay. So even before that, though, did she ever let you work the second truck? Yeah, when she like when she felt like. It. Okay, got you. Well, like it wasn't I no was, guarantee. I money. always made more money with one truck than I ever did with two. So you you hired like a driver for that second truck? Yeah. Eventually, okay, got you. But she wasn't really working it like that. No. Okay, she got you. Just, she was just sitting it. Yeah. She's gonna make you sell that truck one way or another. Or yeah, something. try to make me. I was like, <laughs> try to squeeze you out. Yeah. Or smoke you out. All right, guys, continue. So yeah, so the winter get here, she called me like, "Yo, it's um, it's dry, man." So like, it's it's the end of the. So I take I pack up, I take my trucks, I tell my fiance like, I gotta go to Arizona. You know they working year round down right, there. Right, 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 right. Ain't no winter. And my sister live down there. I just want to keep going. Like I just want to get some money. You know, she's like, go ahead. I'm working in Arizona, you know, for the whole winter. Mm. I got both of my trucks down there. I'm just, you know. Who'd you connect with in Arizona? Uh, I was looking on Craigslist. Okay. Like, you know, I got Just looking for dump truck drivers or whatever? Dump truck drivers, people looking for dump truck drivers. I'm calling them like, hey, y'all got extra work or, you know, a company that I can get to that need trucks. Yeah. And, you know, they sending me to a company like, Try um, DB Solution down in Arizona. I'm like, gotcha. yeah, they working. So, yeah, I go there. The guy was like, man, I'm going to have you working every day. I never missed a day of work down there. Like, Got you. Got they you. rates lower, but I never missed a day. It's like consistent. consistent Got it. Consistent. Got it. Okay. So, I go down there. You take both trucks down there? Yeah. Okay. I go down there. After the winter over with spring and stuff, I'm like, I'm coming back to Milwaukee. So I call Zora again, like, hey, Zora, I'm back in Milwaukee. I'm trying to look for work, you know? She like, oh, no, nah, you went to Arizona. I was like, wow. Yeah, Zora's the worst. <laughs> Yo, she, she's like like somebody's mom or something, man. She yeah, think that like y'all are kids or something like yeah, that. Yeah, but like, she's like, oh, no. 
You went to you, Arizona. You left you me. Now you, now you want to come back. I'm like, it wasn't. You told me it wasn't no right. work. It, it so wasn't personal. It was business. What you expect yeah. me to do? Sit yeah. and starve? Like, what you want me to do, Zora? Yeah, like, that's wild. Like, you know, so she had, I was like, I'm trying to work. She, everybody working. She ain't working. Now one of my trucks, man. Mm. Like, now one of my trucks. So I'm just doing my homework. I'm on the computer looking. I talked to my big guy, Spice. He in the dump truck world. He like, man, what you need to do is get your DBE. Okay. And your SBE. Mm. I'm like, what's them, Spice? Right, right, you right. You know, I'm getting, you know, you, you <laughs> what's that? To like, okay, you got me. Yeah, like, what's them? He like, you can bid on government contracts and city contracts. I'm like, for real? He like, yeah, you won't have to go under nobody. He like, man, a lot of people lazy, so they ain't going to put in all the work, sending in all the documents they need, like, keep. So I'm like, yeah. I told my fiance, like, man, we need to get a DBE. I don't mm. even know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> At the time, I ain't, I'm just saying what, what my guy said. I'm like, man, we need to get a DBE. So right. I'm Googling DBE. And you know, it's popping up like yeah. minority. Yeah. Uh, so I'm like, yeah. So she like, I called a lot of people, like, man, could y'all help me with DBE? They was like, yeah, it's gonna be like three thousand dollars. Okay. To file your papers. I'm like, wow. Three thousand dollars to file your paperwork. Yeah. Something that's free. Yeah, it's free. <laughs> so I went to this guy, his name, um, he worked with the DBE people in the neighborhood, like all the minority companies, mm -hmm. and he's printed out the paperwork for me. So I went home and took it to my fiance. She filled it all out and everything. So I'm just waiting every day. I'm like, Kayla, did the DBE get accepted yet? <laughs> get the DBE, you know, I'm ready, you know, because I'm, I'm tired. Now, now, during this time, are you working at all? Or is this is, no, uh, uh, our, our homegirl still sitting you down? She's still sitting me down. Okay. Well, let me fast forward. Let okay. me rewind it a little yeah, bit. Yeah. So she set me down. I'm doing, I'm at a barbecue, right? I ain't working at all or nothing. Right. I'm at a barbecue. Uncle Jerry, he brushed up on me like, you know, um, I'm a supervisor at um, the gas company out here, like the gas company for homes and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So he's like, man, what you need to grab is a hydro vac truck. Okay. I'm like, yeah, what's that? Uh, you know? <laughs> what you need to do. Everybody telling you what, what you need, I to, need do. to do. But they, they don't know I'm going for it. Like, don't tell me every, something. Every time they tell you, like, for real? All right, let me go get it. <laughs> I went to go buy the hydro vac truck. Hey, what's the hydro vac truck? The hydro vac excavation truck. So okay. it's like a giant vac on there. And it's a, um, a pressure hose, probably like 7,500 PSI water pressure hose. And they got a giant vac on there. Say like under here, we got a lot of wires and pipes and stuff that you don't want to dig in with the excavator. Mm -hmm. You had a giant vacuum and you had a PSI, the water PSI, and that cut in the ground because mm. it spit out 7,500 PSI. Like yeah. it'll rip skin. Rip you right apart. It'll rip you right apart. Okay. So that the water is like the drill. And the vacuum suck up all the wetness and the um, the gravel and dirt and stuff in the ground. Like, okay. It's like a modern day excavator. Okay. And how much is that piece so of equipment cost? So I go out cost? there. I spent five hundred thousand. <laughs> five hundred thousand. Yeah. Hold on. Where that? Where the five hundred thousand come from? Though you stacking like that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you funny. I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying, man. Like, I mean, I mean, I know you're getting your money, but man, that's a lot of money. Yeah, five hundred. Okay, I said five hundred thousand on this machine, man. Okay, like, cause I'm so desperate to get some money. Like, I wanna, you know, I wanna cover. He trying to get money, but he got five hundred thousand to spend. <laughs> you already got money. <laughs> <laughs> You already yeah. got some money. It ain't like I pay cash for I know, for I know. I'm messing I'm with you. The, uh, you, you, you. I finance. You finance. I, I know. I'm messing with you. You know, guys. so. What was the down payment on that thing? Uh, 50000 50000 for a $500,000 piece of equipment. Yeah. And what type of, uh, well, go ahead. Keep on telling your story. I'm sorry. Go ahead. You said what type of work? No, I was, I was going to say, like, what type of work do you do with it? You know, I know you do the, like, I was going to say, how do you get your work? Or, but I'm going to get to that, though. Yeah, like, with that, you can suck off, say you got a big building you know they got a lot of rocks on there for their roofing 
like a lot of pebbles when they do the roof they throw rocks on the top of the building yeah yeah so you can get contracts uh sucking the rocks off so they can retard the roof and okay. things like that like, okay it's different it's, it's a whole different niche Man, a whole different ball if game I, if i show you bro like i put in so much work trying to get that business took it off the ground yeah, yeah. i'm caught at every roofing company every construction company okay every um you um utility company got you like everybody man i'm calling all the way in um middle in texas where they do oil you at puppet oil you out and everything right like, like frack like fracking yeah fracking yeah cause it's almost the same type of process it sounds yes, like yes it's the same yeah, thing yeah, yeah, like, okay man like for real man like i tried it like you so know? you did all that after you bought the you spent the 50 down and had this five hundred thousand dollar piece of and i just got it sitting i ain't making a quarter <laughs> you know yes i, I know. ain't making a quarter <laughs> like i'm just trying to you know i'm trying to find trying to figure wife. it out i'm trying to figure it out man. okay like man okay so i'm just like man you know what i can't spend five thousand every money and i ain't making nothing no more right right i'm finna turn this one again i'm finna go get all dump trucks i'm finna go get some now i'm back on the drawing board i'm okay. back on the dump trucks so you me. never got any work with that thing with that machine i never got not one you work purchased it soon as i sell it these folks call me like hey i'm like we wow. heard you was looking for work <laughs> i'm about to be broke i can't hold on to this machine you know how this machine is yeah, then i gotta yeah. winterize it and do all this i can't do it right man. right that's crazy you know? okay and i was like yeah like I was trying my best, like, you know, like, I wanted to be so successful with the trucking because I already got my CDLs and this was, you know? Like, yeah. I ain't got no real high school diploma. Right. I got, for me, you know, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't get jobs. Like, it's just bad. Right, there's me. no plan B, man. It's got to work. Yeah, it got to. It like, gotta I work. ain't taking no for an answer. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, like, Facts. Facts. I'm calling, I'm calling this old school guy that here, he got one of them business. But they act like they were scared of me because I'm so desperate and <laughs> right. determined. Put, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. Go get it. So now the uncle who told you that you need to get one of them trucks, he couldn't even find nothing for you? He tried his best, but he told me at the beginning, like, I'm not saying I, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm like. <laughs> he's like, I'm not I'm not promising you going to make now money. Yeah, he said he ain't promised right. me, but he's like. But it could work if you make it work. Yeah, like, I'm like, for real, um, I'm just here because I ain't working the dump trucks. I ain't doing nothing. I'm just right, like right, right. sitting at home spending money just like, man. Right. I'm, figure it out. I'm calling even the guys who drill in the ground. Right. I'm pulling up on them work sites looking like, man, what? I'm asking the guy in Texas, like, man, what if I buy you another machine? You, think I, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm just, anything you could do. Yeah. Like, man. Anything to go back to the streets. You right, know? Like, right, right. I'm scared. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm scared yeah, of that because sure. I've built so much. Yeah. And I got a family now. My kids ain't never seen me in no situation like that. So yeah. I'm trying to do anything, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Got like, it. Got it. Got it. But like you said it doesn't work out and you end up selling the selling the truck yeah, I, how, yeah. do you lose money on selling the truck or how? no i didn't sell it i didn't lose not a quarter because it was the uh pandemic and the trucks is in high demand so they was paying over the sticker price for uh, so you made money on it so i made money on it okay how much you make so i made like thirty thousand. okay it, you know okay cool I paid, they paid thirty thousand over the sticker price for it the guy who sold it to me actually called me like, man, I know you ain't been working because I've been talking to him about it. Like, man, it's been bad for me, you know? Yeah. So I made 30000 over the sticker price. And I was like, man, I'm just going to buy more dump trucks, something that I know a little more about. Yeah. So after this, all my certifications kicked in already. Gotcha. Because I got the certification. I wasn't even thinking about getting the certifications really for the dump because my uncle told me like man you get these certifications for this equipment yeah you gonna make 300 an hour i'm like what <laughs> by your by myself right you right know? right okay so 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 prior okay so you said your certifications kicked in after the pandemic yeah. and you bought the the uh what's the what's the name of the, the hydro vac the hydro vac the truck prior to the pandemic right yeah. so we've well, been in business for like 10 years yeah so prior to that um you were running how many trucks? But before you bought that hydro, uh, I was running two. You're running two, two. Dump trucks. Okay, got you. Yeah. So you run the two dump dump trucks. Then work kind of slowed down. You bought that machinery. It didn't work out. Then the, minor, the minority the minority business. 
the, the certifications kick in. Then they kicked in. Yeah, go go from there. Then my um my fiance, she was like, you know, we getting all type of emails to bid on jobs. I'm like, yeah. Mm. So we just bidding. We don't know what we doing. You know. We what just, type of jobs are they are they putting out there? What um, are you seeing? They like um like the first job email that came through there, it was bidding on the Wilson Park Creek Ranch. Okay. It's a park where they digging out. Like they digging out the whole park. Okay. So it was so much um, square feet. And that's that a I, local local job right yeah, in this it's area. Yeah, a local job. All right. So they were saying like, yeah, this is a um, five million dollar job, you know. Mm. So I'm like, bid on it. You right, know? right, so right. So we bidding on it. We ain't winning that. We just steady bidding. We ain't so win. so when you look at that and you say, okay, this is a five million dollar job. How do you even know how to bid or what what to do? Because like you said, you bid but you didn't because get it. So how did you figure that out? Her truck. Okay. Like they say this, like we'll give you guys five hundred thousand per truck. You know, so we bid it on that. Like, okay, five hundred thousand per truck. We get them a rate like prevailing rate, prevailing wage rate. So prevailing wage rate is we got to pay our truck our drivers fifty six dollars per hour. Okay. That's a prevailing wage. It's called prevailing wage. So prevailing wage we go higher. We go tell them that we want one forty an hour for prevailing wage. Okay. Private work, we go tell them we want one fifteen because it's private work. We ain't gotta pay them. Um, you don't gotta 50, pay the driver that that fifty six dollars because that's prevailing wage. Okay. Got you. We only give them fifty six dollars. Like when we say like we working on this road right here, mm -hmm. we ain't gotta go off the road. We gotta stay right here on the road. Like that's what it's called prevailing wage. But if we pick up the dirt from this road and we taking it maybe three four miles away, yeah, that's non prevailing. That's non prevailing wage. Yeah. So okay, so when you're still stay sticking with this contract, so you have to basically line by line tell them how much you're gonna pay your driver. Right, whatever that rate's gonna be, that's gonna be prevailing wage. No, they tell us like. Or they're telling job, you how much? Yeah, they no, they tell us like this job prevailing wage. So once they tell us it's prevailing wage, we already know how much. How we much the rate pay is? The driver, right? Because it's a government. It's job. a government. It's a government. Right, exactly. And so we it's a government pay contract. Them so much per hour. Right, that that prevailing wage is what the rate is, regardless. You can't make the rate up. The government makes the rate. Yeah, up. Yeah, like the, that fifty six dollars. The government made that up. But we can tell them like we want one forty. Mm -hmm. So you can mark we can it up. Afford, yeah, so we can afford to pay the fifty six dollars. Right. You know what I'm saying? Got you. So you have to basically take that rate that the driver gets paid, and then you have to add all your costs and all Gas your expenses and into expenses, it. Yeah. So so that so how did you kind of figure that out? That was just a you sat down and kind of just yeah, broke down you, each truck. You bust your insurance down, say your insurance eight hundred truck. You break it all the way down to the minimal dollar, like Say if it's 800 trucks, so it'd be like, yeah, I pay $50 a day for insurance. Mm -hmm. I pay 115 a day for gas. I pay my driver 275 a day. So you add that up, and you at least want to make, I don't know what everybody else want to make, but I at least want to make at least 600 profit a truck. Okay. Each truck. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, if I'm making six hundred dollars profit a truck, I'm happy. It's a good day for me. You Got know? you. How how meticulous were you when you did those those numbers? Did you like really like go in and I break everything? I give myself at least a ten percent room so I can wiggle room wiggle for mistakes. Room. Yeah. So you figure it out and you say let's throw another ten percent on top of that just yeah. in case that math wasn't perfect. Just in case. Okay, got you. Because me and my wife bid it on the job and it was a prevailing wage job and they giving us one fifteen. We gotta pay, they say we gotta pay them, they doing 12 hours a day. We gotta get them six something, 600 and something dollars a day. Gas, oh sorry. You good? Gas, gas 300. So where we at 900 mm -hmm. and we only make it 1200 a day. Right. It ain't that ain't map. adding up. It ain't adding up. The driver making more than you. He might as well own the business. There you go. There you go. You That's know? a fact. That's a fact. All right, but that first one you said you didn't win that contract. Yeah. So, so the somebody second was, somebody was coming a little bit lower than you potentially, probably, yeah. right? Okay. So the second one we won, but we really ain't know what we was doing. That's why I told you it was that one fifteen, and we really lost. Like mm, so you under you underbid. Underbid you, myself. You, you, you did because I really didn't, but the gas had went up on us when we bid it. Ah, uh, okay. 
So it hurt us, like right. you know what I'm saying. You didn't, ex- you didn't expect that. I didn't expect you, you, didn't, you didn't account for the gas, no sir, or the fuel. This I- was my first time experiencing that gas change, so I'm like, I bid it on what makes sense and was was fair. But when the gas came in, them guys ain't want to work with me. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So I'm like running for nothing. This 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 year. Yeah, cause fuel fuel is right. This spiking year down. I'm running for. I was running for nothing. And what saved me, man, gave the grace of God, what saved me, they never sent the contract back signed. <laughs> they never sent A little sent oversight. The, so, you, so you looked at the contract, you're like, hold on, this, this ain't I even a signed contract. I called my wife because I'm, I'm so hurt. Like, I'm working, I'm not making no money, my truck's tires popping, I'm not making nothing, man. I'm just, yeah. I'm, I'm devastated. You hustling I'm, backwards. I'm going through it, like. I'm telling her, like, I can't do this. I don't care if I got to shut these trucks down. I'm not working for free. Right, right, right. I'm not right. doing it. She's like, Van, just calm down. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because I spend my money in this. Like, for sure. My everything. Like, yeah, I put so yeah. much work in these trucks, man. It's pathetic. Like, <laughs> so I'm telling her, like, I'm like, I can't do this, Kayla. I cannot do this. Right. I'm going. She like, just calm down. We're going to make it work. I'm like, I got to pull my trucks off this contract. We're going to be broke. Right. <laughs> we going to be broke. <laughs> oh, man. So, you know what I'm saying? But she I'm, kept you cool. She like, she kept me cool, like, because I'm ready to go crazy. Right, like, right, right, right. You know, I'm paying for a wedding. I'm paying for a house to get built off the ground. I ain't got no time to make no mistakes. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I ain't got time for these people making money, and I'm not making money. I ain't, right. Y'all getting satisfied. Y'all getting the job done, and y'all ain't want to willing to work with me to even give me 130 125 for the job, man. Right, right. I feel like it wasn't right. Then I, t- I ain't going to say the construction company, but... I felt out the other guys, they was getting paid more than me, man. Like that's when it hurt me more. Like Got these you. guys using me, yo. Like now was now were the other guys on it for, through the government as well, or they were just a private company. They that, was on there with the government. They, they were on through the government too. And some of them was private and they was still making it more mm. than me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I was feeling some type of way about that. Like, wow, like they working me, you know? Wow. And my fiance, she like just record everything and keep stuff documented. You know, there you go. Make good, sure you good keep advice. stuff documented. Good advice. I was getting picked out, like you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they was picking on me because we sent that. We sent the con- even though they ain't sent it back. We sent the contract in there naked. You know what I'm saying? Like as I'm saying, naked is mm-hmm. we just signed it. We ain't tell them our stipulations, what we want, what we getting out the business, like. Um, prices of fuel may change. You know, we ain't put nothing. Right. In the you didn't redline nothing. You didn't add nothing to it. It we just what, was nothing. what it was. So you they found out we was green. You know, like they right. They like, oh, knew yeah, we, we got this. them. They don't have no lawyers or nothing looking through this. And nothing. Not, right. It's just they signed whatever we gave them. So they was like we green. The grace of God. Man, I asked my wife like, can you send me these contracts? Because at the point I'm messed up in the head because I ain't making no money. I've been working with them for two months. I ain't making no money. I'm making bare minimal. A tire bust, my whole day gone. I'm not making no money, you know? Right, right. I just ran for free. I got to pay my driver for sitting. You know, I got to pay for the tire. Yeah. I ain't making nothing. Like, I just sit down looking at my account. Like, my it's going backwards, <laughs> man. Like, for real, man. Like, it's going backwards. Right. Right. I'm like, something ain't right here, man, you know? Wow. Like, I ain't making no money. That's crazy. And then you said the, t- the contract wasn't signed? Yeah, it's called an a, a A form. They never, my wife signed it and sent it back, but they never signed it back to. So that means the actual agreement was never executed? Yeah, it wasn't executed. It wasn't an agreement. And they can't even, and my, she's so good, you know, she was with the law firm. Yeah, she's stuff. the one who got you the money from the beginning, right? The yeah. 17000 <laughs> so, <laughs> Hey, so she like, man, it's not, it's, the deal is not done. If they ain't sending it back Yo, to me she's with a them. Goat. She's a goat. If they ain't sending it back to me, sign. Yeah. It ain't, it ain't really done. good. We got to go negotiate, she baby. She said, and if they try to do anything, it's gonna be I want to see the date that they said they sent the email to me with the paper signed. Oh, you know? wow. Wow. So she yeah. owned it. Like yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah. oh my God, I think <laughs> we got something here. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I was talking to this guy Ryan. He good at the trucking. He like over this thing called United Truck Dump Truck Association. Okay. So he right now he working on rates. He trying to get stuff right because you know tires for, for everybody. Not, for everybody. Tires expensive, pars expensive. 
Like right now, I got a truck that's in the shop that the motor blew out. It been in the shop since March. Mm. And um, Detroit, they ain't came up with the motor yet. Oh, so wow. I'm losing right now as we right, speak. Right, and you still it's gotta pay for that truck. truck. It's on a warranty, everything. What? I still, I've been calling these people. It, they, it supposed to have been here the first of this month. I called them, they said, no, we pushed it back to nine, eight. I'm like, wow. So I'm just, you know, I'm like, all I'm thinking in my head, like, man, I'm gonna do better next year. Like, you right, know, right, just right. keep trying to keep positive. You know, so keep it pushing. Yeah. So, so, so with the contract not being signed, finish, finish that. So, were you able to get out of that situation, or did they renegotiate pull, the situation? No, they. I called the guy like, man, hey, could we get a, could we negotiate the rate? He never called me back. So I pulled my trucks out of it. They never called me. Okay. So it is what it is on that on okay. the, on that job. On like, that job. Yeah, because I wasn't making a penny. I had to pay my drivers fifty. Fifty-six dollars hour. I'm only getting paid one fifteen. Right. So you can look at that right there, yeah, and that yeah, ain't yeah. even the gas. Right. And this is a government contract. The government contract. So government contracts ain't always what it's cracked up to be. If you no, don't do your, if you don't get your if you don't do your homework, your homework and do everything right. Yeah. So so what did you go back to to doing once you pulled the trucks out? I've been going to all my private um, private contractors. I got another contractor. He gave me a nice rate for prevailing wage okay so he he making sure we making money you okay know? a lot of people at least contracts before they self or for a friend you know like they don't be wanting us to get in bro like it's hard for me like i've been fighting like just to get directly with these uh, construction workers all right guys listen before we continue the show i gotta give a shout out to our sponsor and our partner OTR Solutions, formerly OTR Capital, but listen guys, OTR is much, much more than just a factoring company. They provide so many solutions to help the small carrier not only get into business, but to stay in business and maintain, right? So you guys have to partner with them and check them out. Don't take my advice for it. Talk to their clients, right? Talk to their clients. Find out what the people are saying. Everybody will tell you the same thing. So make sure you give OTR Solutions a call at 470-900-3338 or click the link in the bio below. Make sure you check them out and tell them Truck and Hustle sent you. So, 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 I mean, what's the, is it, what's the difficulty about it? They don't want to have the conversation. They don't like to talk direct. They want to go through a broker. Like, why is it so hard to get direct? A lot of them told me, like, if you don't got enough trucks, they ready to go through a broker because they could call one broker and they bring 50 trucks, you know? Right. Or call a broker, like, yeah, I need 30 of them. Right. But I, as my, I don't think that's fair, like, because it's guys brokers they pick out who they want to work like if they got friends he got 12 trucks he gonna put his friend out and we gotta sit you know like everybody they put all they people out that they've been working with and we all gotta sit right how often like i mean so is when you're working directly with the private you know companies or whatever is your truck consistently kind of running for the most yeah, part? yeah you consistent running and when you with brokers they say when it start raining they be like, oh, I ain't no work. But I see now when I'm directly, when it's raining, they still call us for work, you know? Mm. Like, they tell us no work, and they let all their people go out, like seniority. If you got seniority with yeah. them, yeah. they let them go out. Okay, okay. But when it's raining, you can't you can't really move the dirt, though, right? Doesn't you that can, but you got different jobs, like hauling stone. Okay, so too. these brokers control all of that stuff, too? Like the yeah. stone and everything like that? So, I mean, the, I mean... There has to, I guess. The These are the brokers. They've been in the field 30, 40 years. So they still think they can just control us. But they all older, though. So now I'm coming in. I'm trying to come in with an app. I'm trying to come in with stuff like modern, you know, like yeah. up, like I'm the next thing popping. Like, you know, <laughs> right. like y'all got to move out because all the older brokers, they don't want you to bring the paperwork to them. They want to do all that. I'm coming up with emails, like send it over, coming up with an app, take a picture. Put your gas in there and everything is submitted and everything will pop up stuff like that you right know? right like, this is stuff you're bringing to them and they and they don't want to they don't want to deal with that no the 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 construction company actually told me he liked my idea okay you know? okay i'm just trying to say like how all the older people that, like how they feel about it they don't want to help the new people but 
if they don't help us and they just die out, it ain't nobody gonna be no game. I'm gonna tell you this like this, like the bro the broker I was messing with, she was telling me one rate, like this was the rate we getting. So once I start being on my own and put that rate in, she telling me that the going rate, they like, oh no, you stupid, you getting lower than what? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, wow, how I'm getting lower and you telling me that's what we was getting paid the whole time. Hold on, I, I, I got confused on that one. Just explain that one more time. So I'm saying? saying like the brokers, right? Mm -hmm. They give us a rate when we running under them. Mm -hmm. They give us a rate like, yeah, um, this is where we going. This is the job. This is how much he's getting paid. Let's say it's $100 a load, right? Say it's $100 okay. a load. Yeah. And the, the, the broker like, yeah, this is $100 a load. Now... I'm on my own. I don't got no broker. I'm going directly. I'm bidding. They see me. They see my number on the platform. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, he bid this on the job. Now they telling me I'm stupid. You mm. know what I'm saying? From bidding for that number. Okay. But they ain't the same it. number that they was trying to pay you before. Or? Yeah, the okay. same number they was paying me. <laughs> they ain't. You know what I'm saying? They ain't telling me the real game. You know, they just got me bidding low. Like, oh, this is what they going for. Right. But they actually bidding higher. And when I bid that low, they saying I'm messing up the game. You know what I'm saying? They, I'm bidding too low and I'm right. rolling it up. Right, yeah, okay. You're cheapening the price. Yeah, and I'm cheapening the price, but you ain't keep it real with me from the get and tell me, like, this the real price. Right. I'm taking money off be, be, of you. Because the broker's got to make money. Yeah, but look, they get their 5%, but I'm talking about higher than the way 5%. Higher than that. They're marking it up way higher than that. Yeah, like so they, they trying to make they 10, 10 they 15, 5%, 20%. They taking their 5% off the 100, but the 115 they got, they pocketing in the 15 and still giving you 95 because they took their 5% off your 100. You get mm, what I'm saying? Oh, wow. It's a dirty game, man. Yeah, see? It's a dirty, it, it, it's a dirty game. So the key to survival is getting, you gotta go get it is yourself. going direct. Yeah. So so how do we how do how do we do that? What's the best way to go? To the go best direct? way to do is go knock on doors. Go talk to them yourself. Talk to who? who go talk for? to the contractors. Um, the contractors, as in the people who are out there. Like where do you find them? You find the contractors. You see them on the highways. You get out, pass out your car. You see them. Gotcha. Like here, here go my car, man. You need any work? Contact me, man. I'm DBE certified. Got you. That's all they want to hear is you certified. Got you. And they so, so they don't mind working direct like they that. They don't mind working with you, but people so. They, they, they'll trick you into thinking that, you know, like what you said, if you don't have a certain amount of trucks, you know, they, they're only going to deal with you unless you have, you know, 30 plus or 50 plus trucks. So that's why you got to go through us. Yeah. They're, they're, they're giving them, they're, they're keeping them. It's like job security. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They keep they, them they, like, they keep you tricked. Yeah. But if you go direct. I ain't letting them trick me no more. Yeah. Like, you know, I'm going direct to everybody. Like, then the lady, she was telling everybody I'm stealing her clients and stuff. Mm. The broker I was messing with, she like, oh, you stealing, how I'm stealing your clients and everybody working with these people. Like, everybody <laughs> that's got a truck in right. company. Right. It's the only people to work for, right? You know, you ain't even want to work my two, you only want to work one of my trucks. Right. So I knew I can't grow with you. I got to go do something something else yeah wow wow okay so so when you do that how much because you did that right so how much does your, your your pay increase once you do that you wow. got paid a lot more like what was the difference the in what difference, you started getting for your work now i may be making 20 percent more than 20 percent more just by going direct. direct everything else is the same but just because you cut her out you make 20 percent more oh man yeah that's crazy I get to put my rate. I get to put my rate on it. I talked to an old friend. He was like, "Man, don't be scared to tell them your rate. They love to pay it." <laughs> what does that mean? They love to pay it. Like they gonna be more than happy to pay it. This right. is my old school guy's name, Todd. Shout okay. out to Todd. Okay. He got gourmet trucking. He maybe got like fourteen dump trucks here. Okay. He an older guy. Okay. okay. I call him for everything. He be like, "What's up, man?" He a one of them smooth talking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. He was like, Van. He like Van. One thing, don't scare to tell him your rate. They love to pay it. Got it. Got it, got it. So and, and, and you found that to be true. Yeah, I right? found it to be true. So when you're when you're uh putting your rates together, like what's your process for figuring out how much you want to charge for for a job? Cause I um uh, figure out what's the like 
how far we're going, what's the gas percentage. Do you have all that information up front? Yeah. Okay. Like, they does send, the job ever change? You pay like you for the, $10 like, for a printout. Okay. And it show you point A to point B, what we moving, how many tons they um, expecting you to bring in, how many tons they expect you to move out. So, you know, you get all that. Okay. So you can determine what you. So you do all, do be. all that math. Yeah. So and and have you ever gotten a rate rejected, like when like when you put like propose like okay this is my rate you had to come down and yeah, go. Yeah, I got a lot of them rejected. <laughs> <but> <laughs> I'll be trying to see what I can go. Right. You know, like man, let me see what they really want to pay. Like, right, right, you know? right, 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 right. So, you just throw it out there and see if it stick, right? Yeah. Sometimes they end up calling you anyways when the job uh, when some companies can't fulfill the. Um, the job, the like the, the the capacity. Yeah, so they call you anyways. Got baby. you. Come on, man. I guess we. Got you. How, how many how many uh, companies do you usually see out there with with you know other dump truck companies, like at the sites that you go to? Mm, how many dump how, truck? How companies? many different companies? Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot, man. Okay. Yeah, it'd be a lot. Okay. Got you. Do do do, do like you talk with the other companies at all? Do you just yeah, kind of do I your talk, thing and move? I talk to some companies. I okay. just be want to see what's going on. Yeah. Like what's the rates and what's, figuring you know. out what they got going on. Yeah. How many how many different types of jobs do you do? Like because you said like you said like moving the sand. I mean uh, the stones. I just, uh, the most sand. Of, most of my jobs I do uh, earth move earth moving. Okay. Like excavating work. Okay. And we um we haul out and we bring in gravel. Okay. Some in the winter time now. This is my first winter contract. Um, I just got a contract with the salt, so we're gonna be hauling salt this winter. Like, okay, it's been going great for me. Like, was that through government contracting as well? Like, yeah, through getting like your certification. Every time, yeah, certification. Like, this our first year that we've really been getting contracts. Like, yeah, back to back, they calling us. You know, we look at our Google searches and everything. Like, we getting real feedback and. They really messing with the company. Like everybody call us now. Like okay. y'all got extra trucks. Y'all got trucks. Y'all got trucks. Yeah. We gotta turn them down. Last year <laughs> I was just crying. You know. Right. Like, right. Hey, right. So, so nobody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So so things did like a complete 360. Yeah. So I'm like I'm ready to order trucks, but again my fiance like slow down. Right. We gonna we gonna grind it. We gonna see what you know. Right. 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 I'm ready to get the ordering because I'm I feel like I got it now, but she like. Just slow down. We're going to take our time and we're going to build it right and just, you know. So yeah, like, yeah. Got you. So you said this 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 winter will be your first with the with the moving the, uh, okay, so you haven't done it yet. I, I did it last year for another company okay. just to see how it was, but he was taxing me 10%. Oh, so man. I'm like, I just went to see and I went there and I went to, to the main guy, seen him out there. I gave him my card. I was like, man, I got seven certifications, man. Like, you know, we working. I just want to, you know, build a relationship with you. Yeah. I called him every Monday. Hey, man, it's Jerry. You Jay Jerry Lines. What's up, man? I just want to check on you. Make sure everything good. Just keep calling. Right. I took donuts to his office. <laughs> like, you know, I'm the Right. Do everybody gotta I got a contract with right now took donuts to their office. Donuts is the key to success, took man. Took the donuts to him. <laughs> I took a rate sheet. And me and my fiance, I took both of our cars there. Okay. I'm just keep going back. They like, man, I'm tired of seeing this guy in our office. I'm right. just we gotta give him some work so he's tearing alone. the dough down every time. Man, that's what you gotta do. I'm tearing it down. They like, we gotta all winter. I'm working. My other guys know was telling me they got dump truck too. They was like, man, we ain't getting out here and do that. <laughs> now, right now, to this day, I talked to him on the phone. He said, man, I gotta get off there this winter. I gotta go <laughs> dough to dough. I see it working. I like I told you to get out here with me. I went to the DBE uh, conference. I let them get to see me. I got to talk and shake hands with a lot of people. Like, yeah. you know, yeah. just trying to get my face uh, familiar out here in the yeah. world. I, I go to every conference. Like, they had some at the courthouse about the rates. I went there. Mm -hmm. I was the only black guy in the building, man. Mm. Only one. Wow. I was like, wow. You know, like, this. I'm sitting there talking to them, everybody. Talking to the um, people running for government, everything. They were sitting there trying to hear our opinion about the rates and what they can do better to make our business grow. Got you. So I'm there, like, I'm from did, did you get to talk? Did you get to say anything? I was nervous. You just sitting there, sitting back? Yeah. <laughs> 
I was nervous. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, dang. You said this year I just listen. And then maybe next time I come back around, yeah, I, I like, have something to say. I talked to the guys after it was over with one on ones right. after here. And they was like, man, we proud of you coming here, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I, I mean, that's important. That's that's a jewel right there. That's where the I decisions just, get made. Man. I just try to do anything that'll help my business right now, man. Like, I don't want to be sh- shortcut nothing. Like, anything they say is going to help me. I'm there, front row, center. Like right. I'm trying to be there, cause I I want I really believe my house my business gonna be a house uh, a house brand here. Like got yeah. you, like a household name in Milwaukee. Yeah, because everybody in our age when they talk about trucks they mention me out the gate. Like got you. I be getting Facetime calls like you you know him. <laughs> like yeah, I know him in the truck. But yeah, yeah, you yeah, know yeah. they be Facetime me like yeah. oh this my guy Van he got the trucks. Who? Yeah. Yeah. So I I know I'm doing something good around. Right. People here. Are, people are looking up to you. People yeah. are aspiring to do what you do. Now that that that's dope. So when you uh you said you're doing the um for the winter time, you did you buy plows too? No. Oh, you're just gonna do but like spreading the I'm sand. I'm looking into giving me a front front end loader. Front load, okay. Because um uh my guy Jeff, he like an uncle to me. He be, he hooked me up with this guy. They be cleaning off bus stops and doing that stuff for the bus, the city. Okay. So you gotta have a front end loader to do it for the snow. Got it, got it. So you'll just be doing the the spreading, yeah. the sand, right? Yeah. What you gotta do is like raise a dump and just like let it like spread out. Just or let it spread. Just let it spread. Yeah. Okay, okay, that's dope. And this is the first year you be doing that. Yeah. All right, cool. So 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 the business is to kind of bring it full circle. You said you had six trucks now. Yeah. Right. You said you ordering three more. Yeah. Cause, Cause you're growing. Well, I'm ordering two. Caleb you're ordering two. One. The wife is getting <laughs> getting her one. Yeah. And and the regular work that you'll be doing with that is excavation. Yeah, excavation stuff. Yeah, I like excavation better. Okay, okay, all that. What? How big do you want to grow this company? For right now, I want to do 20 trucks right now. That's just for right now. 20. If I go past that. It'll be blessing. Okay. Like, I just, for right now, I think 20. Why, why the number 20? Any particular reason? Just sound good? 20, I think about 20,000 a day, but I really, it's mm. really 10,000 a day. But it's probably more than 10,000, but I always, the money I'm, I'm heading for, I want to have two of it, if it makes sense. Like, I really want 10,000 a day. Right. But for me to make 10,000 a day, I got to make 20,000 a day. Ah, uh, okay. Got you. So right now you do like currently off a truck. You said about five, six hundred a truck. Six hundred a truck. A truck. Okay, a day. Yeah. Okay. You that see makes what sense. I'm yeah, saying? yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, that's 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 a great goal. So twenty thousand a day would be how much? What would that be uh, a year? Twenty thousand I mean, a day. Yeah. I mean, that'd be twenty. That's four hundred a uh, four hundred a month, right? Four hundred a month times yeah. twelve. Times twelve. So that's we don't do public math, but uh, that's four point eight, right? Four point eight million. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, that's that's a nice little living. You could probably yeah. do a little something with that. Yeah, a little something. <laughs> Trying to, you know, you could do a little something with that. So, so let's talk about that. That's that's gross revenue. So by the time you take expenses, what do you what are you netting? I'll say twelve thousand a day. Okay. Well, at the Gross after I pay the trucks. After you pay everything off, off what what, what do you get? I to should net? be making at least eight thousand a day. Okay, okay, got it, got it. Not bad at all, man. Not bad at all. So twenty trucks. Yeah. All right, cool. How long do you think it's gonna take you to get there? Not that long. Yeah. If I keep my foot on the pedal, it's gonna it's gonna get me there. Yeah. Cause right now it's like I'm doing ten trucks. Cause I just started night shift, so I got. Six of the day, four at night. Mm, okay. So, you know, I, I um, sacrifice and uh, let all my drivers drive in the day, and I'm going to be at night with the other three guys. Got you. Got, and that's another thing. You, you, you still drive. You're still in the truck. Yeah, I'm still driving. What, what, is there a reason why you feel like you need to stay in the truck? Do you need to stay in the truck, or do you just choose to stay I in the truck? I need to stay in the truck. I say I need to stay in the truck because if I'm not in the truck, I get busy and wondering and where I'm from, like, I don't want to, you know, think about other stuff. I just want to stay working in the truck. And when I'm not in the truck, I get bored. So bored leads to something else. Yeah, yeah. 20 you trucks, know. you still in the truck? Huh? 20 trucks, you still in the truck? Um, I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe not. I can find something else to do. <laughs> <laughs> 
Nah, <laughs> nah, I can dig it. I can definitely dig it. I can it. go on vacations and yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah. that. Nah, for sure, man, for sure. That's dope. So any any advice to someone trying to get in the dump the dump truck game, man? Um, we have a lot of brothers who um, I just a lot of think, people want to get in the game. What, what would be your advice? I think they just need to do a lot of homework because I, I learned off of mistakes, you know. So it's best if you got someone that will put, you know, make you learn it, like put you through school. I think you should go to school to get your license. Some people prefer not to drive dump trucks, but I think if you're going to be heads on in the um, business, I think you should drive because, your drivers can't tell you anything and you know how everything go. Like, yeah. I say like, cause my drivers, Matt, they be in Madison, Wisconsin, right? I drove, I drove the job before so I could call them, get diesel expensive right now. So I could tell them like, hey man, just put 150 in there today because I know that'll get you through the day. Right, right, right. If I ain't hands on, I wanna know how much it burnt and what's the route. I could text them like, hey, Go to this rock curve, you gotta take this way, it's a truck route. You know, I could just invent them for doing a lot of stuff. That yeah, nah, makes sense. Biggest mistake you think you've made uh, com coming up? What was the biggest mistake that, you said you made a lot of mistakes, so what do you think was the biggest mistake that you made? Up in the trucking? Yeah, in trucking. Uh, the biggest mistake was trying to grow too fast. Growing, trying to grow too fast. Yeah, like I try to grow too fast because when you get in the money, everything black out and you like, well, if I get 10 of these, I can hurry up and get the money. Right. But you got to think about your expenses, and you still got to live after you maintenance the trucks and take care of gas and your drivers and stuff. Yeah. I was thinking, like, I should get 10 trucks, but I ain't thinking about my account getting sucked dry to these companies pay me, you know? Right. So right. that was my biggest mistake, trying to grow fast. Got it. How, how, how Talking about do the companies pay you, are you getting paid weekly? Month, how, how does the pay work? In, in I got some world? contractors, they pay me weekly, and I got some pay me every two weeks, and some pay me every net 30. So on a net 30, do you get factoring? No. You just... I just wait the 30 You just, you just wait it out? Yeah. So you have enough to cash flow for your yeah, drivers and everything I'll be like trying that? To, I, I try to move my trucks around to uh, satisfy all my contractors, but at the end of the day, I try to move them around where I can get some of that weekly money, some yeah. of that every two week money and 30 day money. To supplement so, for that. So my weekly money can pay for the, pay uh, for everything. Now the net 30 accounts, are those usually the government contracting, the government stuff? Um, no, it's like down here in Milwaukee, they a lot of contractors pay net 30. Mm. In Madison, an hour away, all the contractors pay every week gotcha so i like the every week but of course <laughs> of course yeah so it's, just, it's still the same money but yeah you want a lot of people as soon be as saying, like you drive all the way up to madison yeah bro because i don't want to dig in my pocket That's right I, right i gotta keep that money in rotation you know for sure do you ever have any any problems getting paid from from these contractors um no i haven't i had in texas i did what happened I worked for this contractor for two weeks. I went up there and he ain't pay me the money. Never did? Never did. Like, he never. To this day? Never to this day. Like my man Deontay, to this day. Why? Why he ain't pay you? He just, I don't know. He just ain't pay me. Stop answering the phone. Oh, wow. Everything. And I was standing in a hotel down there in Texas. Like, and there was no recourse? Like, there was nothing you could do about it? You didn't have, like, paperwork saying that you delivered the stuff? or I had the paperwork and everything. I was just like, you know what? I'm going to just catch my blessing another way. And I just kept moving, you know? Mm. And I was, I was messed up about it. I called my fiance again. I always called her. I'm standing in a hotel. We trying to transition right. to go to Texas. So I took one of my trucks down there to try to see how it go. Yeah. And the guy played me. So, you know, I was like, Damn. wow. That's I crazy. spent all my gas money, everything, you know, going, dumping the load. Yeah. I, I mean, but something like that is like a very random occurrence. Like, that wouldn't happen in the dump truck world, no, right? No, it don't happen too yeah. often. Like, yeah. You know, so I was I was messed up behind that. Like, yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, you can't be taking losses like that. No, man. man. Like, I, 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 I was calling them and everything. Like, he, was, was he a broker? Call workforce on him, everything. Was he like a broker? Or this yeah, was, he was a broker. Okay. Yeah. That's what made me want to get my own work too. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I gotta be control of it. A I shady, gotta... shady broker. Yeah. So now, 
My wife got probably like 20 trucks broker under her with the dump truck. Okay, so she's brokering. Yeah, got she's you. I was going to ask you about that. Why don't you broker at all? Because I know a lot of people in the I'd dump truck I'd rather for her to get the money. I got, got my you. truck money and she could just get that. Again, I got to keep her up out of here. <laughs> I got to keep her up out of there, man. <laughs> So I'd rather get her. I'd rather set her up with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, she could leverage your relationships and and broker some additional yeah. work when they have more capacity. Like, oh, you know, you know, van running this lane. I got, I got something for you. Yeah, like, got you. So she, I let every truck I get, I just send it her way. Like, go ahead, she gonna take care of you. Okay. She gonna take care of you. Okay. Got, Smart. Another, even, another income she stream. She even broker. She broker hot shot semis oh, okay. and box trucks. Okay. And dump trucks. Okay, she she deep in the game. She yeah, doing her thing. She do it all. That's, yeah. Like you say, you got to borrow money from her. She, yeah, <laughs> that's I what's up, man. Some from her. Nah, that's that's <laughs> that, that's what's up. Dope. All right, cool. Well, um, I, I, I think that's that's that sounds like that's about it, man. So yeah. we 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 at about to be nine. We on our way to twenty soon. That's what we going. That's what we going to cap. Here. Next time you come back, we should have that twenty lined up. You got twenty, you. probably be in even a bigger space or something like yeah, that. You know what I'm saying? Space, twenty everything. lined up, and you might, I might have to meet you somewhere in the island though, because you're gonna be on vacation, right? Yeah. When that twenty's here, so yeah, I'm like, <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm gonna pay for you and your wife to meet us over right, here. Right, right, right. Facts, facts, <laughs> facts. Yeah, I come over here. No you know? doubt, no doubt. I love it, man. Yeah. So, man, whoever trying to get in the world, they just need to, you know, proceed to what they want to do. Just keep going. You yeah. Know, keep going. Like I I bought other trucks. Like this ain't gonna work. I rewrote my business plan so many times. Yeah. Like it ain't just like it ain't just a smooth sailing. So I just want them to do their homework. If they if they willing to get in the business, don't think it's just because they friend doing good. It's different strokes with different folks. That's a fact. That's a fact. Do you finance your trucks? Or, yeah, or your, I finance. Or, how, how do you do it with your with your banking and your finances? Like, are they giving you like zero percent down? Or um, you... they no. I, I'm like three percent. Three percent. Yeah. Okay. So they my um, last truck they gave me with no money down. Okay. Okay. Like so, I'm like, oh, I must be so doing now. You, good. Now you the man. Now they, now they, yeah, they, 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 they feeling they, they you they now. With me now. <laughs> Once you like, get that no money down, I have right. to call Kayla again. Like, right. hey Kayla, you, guess what? They said nothing. <laughs> no <now>. money down <laughs> for the dump truck. I started off putting fifty grand down. You right, know? right, 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 right. So exactly. yeah, that's exactly. a big, it's, it's a, a big, big accomplishment for and, me. And allows you to be able to grow as long as you have the work to continue to you know work the trucks and everything. Yeah. That that that's awesome. Yeah, man, it's awesome. Like I could just see my business growing now. Like it's yeah. just because I get a call every day from a different contractor. Like, hey, you guys got trucks available? Right. I see myself turning them down. Like, no, I don't got nothing. Yeah. You know? Like I ain't got nothing. Even the twenty trucks she subcontracting, they all gone. Like, ah, uh, yeah. We don't got nothing. Shh, man, it's a good position to be in, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like. Having to work, everybody's busy. You know what I mean? Everybody busy. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful thing. So I you, was just crying last <laughs> year, man. No doubt, no doubt. Yeah. So do you recommend the dump game for somebody want to get in the truck? And it was I you think, say? yeah, I think the dump game for anybody that want to get in is good. Just do your work, your homework, so you don't have no surprises. Like, oh, I ain't know about this, or right. Just do your homework. Any business gonna work out for you, just as long as you stay consistent and do your homework. And you know what you're getting yourself into. Yeah. You don't want to go in there blind because I'm telling you, these trucks will make you or they'll break you. Whoo! That's a fact. They they'll will make, make you or they'll break, break you. you. For I, real. I love it. I love it. All right, man. Well, we we, we going to wrap it up. Before we wrap, we always have to have a final thought, right, which is going to be something spiritual, entrepreneurial, whatever you want to leave the audience with, and then let everybody know where they connect with you, learn more about JH Alliance. What made you name the company JH Alliance? By the I way? named it after my kids. My son named Jameer. He's a 13-year-old. And my daughter, Haven. Okay. My, my daughter's middle name is Haven. Haven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah she's Carly 10 Haven. years old. Uh, That's dope. She's a dancing animal. <laughs> That's she what's up. me all around the world. That's what's up. That's what's dancing. up. Dancing. Okay, dancing. Okay, yeah, cool. She dan nice. Quake, you like that's like your daughter, man. She do the uh, step. His his daughter does step, and she's yeah. all around the country stepping. 
all over yeah. all over the place. That's a whole nother job, right? Yeah, taking her all over the dance. That's what my wife take her everywhere. Yeah. She's like, we in Orlando this week. We right, here, we right, here. right, right, she right. She be get dancing, gets the dancing dials. Everybody. Oh wow, that's she crazy. Really, she good. She's big. She's official. She good. That's what's up. Why alliance? Why you make alliance the name? Cause uh, my fiance sister, she was like, I think you should put an A on your business. So when you Google it and everything, it'll pop up like on top. You know. Like a lion, so and the lions go like in terms of like like alphabetical order. Yeah, does that work in Google? Yep. She it must is, know. She must know something that we don't know. Now a, I I'm like the third in Google. Now I, you couldn't even find my name at first. Really? Yeah. And That's interesting. Told, I never heard that one before. And she told me a line. A second reason she told me to pick a lion because she's like, if the trucking company don't work. You can always use J H and Lions for anything. Go. I like that. It ain't J H Lions trucking. It yeah. Ain't J. Lions. You can use your your credit you built up. Right. Anything. Just say like you got into a bad accident. Or anything in your truck and it caused you to lose your D O T number or anything. Right. You can still use J H and Lions for a whole nother business. You got the whole. We got the credit. Right. To establish in the business. Right. You know you got history with the business yeah you know so yeah so make it vague yeah to where you're not pigeonholed into any particular one niche thing. makes sense i like that good advice good advice yeah. all right so let's let's get back let's get to the uh final thought and then let everybody know where they can connect with you you can start with that where can people reach reach you on social media you know, where, wherever you at you can reach me at um van damme 51 on ig or you can um on linkedin is jerry rogers at JH Alliance on LinkedIn, you can reach me there if you guys have any questions or any inquiries about dump trucking. I'm here to help you guys, so just reach me out again on IG is Van Dam 51. No doubt. And final, final thought. What do you want to leave the audience with? Parting words. Um, I just like I said before, like if you gonna get into it, just do your homework, and when you get into it don't quit just keep going i know it's gonna be some hard times and it's gonna be some good times but just get through it we just gotta pull through no doubt i so. love that if you can't respect that your whole perspective is whack hustle fam you know what we do around this time if you smell something burning it's only a desire myself jerry van jerry van van jerry yeah. jh alliance we out <laughs> If you twisted, confused, or stuck about trucks, don't be dumb. This is the place to come. Truck and hustle. Let's go.